Kevin, I'm Chief Executive at Harlequins, uh, who are one of the 12 teams that compete in the Viva Premiership, which is the top uh, league of rugby union in England. Uh, the league's been going for about 15 years now on a professional level. Uh, and on the surface, I think you'd have to say things have gone pretty well. There's been an awful lot of investment into grounds, such as the uh, Twickenham Stoop here and others around the country. Um, there's been a huge amount of investment from um, people who have, who have owned, put ownership into the clubs. Uh, and the number of people who have gone along to watch games have, has risen from an average of about five, 6,000 15 years ago to sort of 12, 13,000 uh, as we speak today. That's the positive side and that's what you usually hear people talk about when they talk about um, the growth of rugby union in England in the last decade or so. However, uh, I think there are some real problems in the club game in England that, that need to be addressed. Um, the revenues have, have risen, undoubtedly, but as the revenues have risen, the cost base has risen um, probably uh, almost as much. And like most sports, the real cost base is in people. We're a very, very people-orientated business. We've got a wage cap in our league, <coughs> which is quite an un-English concept. The idea is that each team only pays a certain amount to players, and that does a number of things. It tries to keep the costs aligned with the revenue. It tries to keep competitive balance in the league, so that the richest clubs with the biggest crowds or the best sponsors don't get all the, mu don't get all the best players and then win every week, and it becomes really dull and people don't want to go and watch it. Um, it's a hard thing to keep because by definition the richer clubs have got more money and would often like to spend it because they're competitive and they want to win. And similarly, uh, the poorer clubs want to keep it because they realise if they don't keep it then they, they'll soon cease to be competitive. <laughs> The Midlands is, a, is, 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 is more successful uh, and the South West is probably the region where the game's probably the strongest at grassroots and, and in terms of it's where football's weakest and therefore almost by definition it's where rugby's strongest. And similarly, I don't think we can continue for another 20 years just relying on benefactors and patrons to subsidise the clubs because they're not viable. <laughs>